Hey Interwebs, it's Tethys, and welcome back to the Resident Evil HD Remaster. Last episode, we ended up going around the laboratory and finding out a lot more about kind of the uh, scientific aspect of what they were doing down here. Found out the names of pretty much all the creatures that we encountered, except for that insect-looking thing. It was just, it was gross. Like the fly. Um, also found out uh, kind of who the double crosser is. I won't say it in case anybody's coming across this this part of the series, just so that they don't have it spoiled for them. So, um, if you know, if you if you watched the last video, then you definitely know who it is. So, let's go and get that last lock open. Okay, downstairs. Oh. You're walking daver. Oh, that's an interesting lighting. That reminds me of Silent Hill. Is this red? It's red. That means we've got something in here. Oh my god, you are gruesome. Now you just stay dead, please. Although it looks like you won't have trouble doing that. Fire is blazing. Some kind of furnace? Chris! Night. Snipe! Warning, fuel may explode if shaken or jarred. A refueling device for the power room. It's not working right now because there's no fuel. The empty capsule. Ah! I know what to do with that. But is that door... Well, the door is usable... out of my way. I'm just gonna slide past you here. Hope you don't mind. Why is it all red? Is it because it's really hot or something? Get away from me! Ugly bugger. Well, <laughs> I just realized that. The pun. Unintentional, but still funny. <laughs> That's what I like to call those. I'll call those buggers. I'm calling them buggers. I don't care what their official canon name is, unless it's cooler. Bye! You ain't got no limbs. Oop. Oh. Oh, you... Bugger. Oh, of course he's crawling on the ground. Couldn't make it easy on him, could he? No, no, he couldn't. Where am I? What is in here? Oh. I imagine this is where I set off the self-destruct. Well, there's no power, so I can't really start it up now, can I? Oh, they are just guarding the fuck out of that. I'm wondering if those were, um... mutations they hadn't quite documented before the accident happened. It would make sense why they weren't in the slideshow. Okay. So, no. First things first. We're going back and we're getting the Magnum, because there are no more shotgun bullets around, as far as I can tell. 
and it's pointless to not have a magnum when we've got so many bullets. And since we've got so much ink ribbon, We're also going to save in a moment. Why? Because, from what I can tell, <laughs> since it's telling me the, um, the fuel is really fragile and explosive, I have a feeling that I'm going to only be allowed to walk. And so, if I get smacked, I have a feeling it's going to blow me up, and that's not going to be good. I don't, still don't know what that mount is for, but I still don't want to get rid of it. Especially since I have the, si the slots for it. Um, right, upstairs. No, no, wait, no, it's downstairs. What am I thinking? Should be. That is. Okay. Okay, I need to go through here. And then... Let's take a look in here. I don't think this is the right one. No, that's not the right one. I'm just gonna do a little search. Oh. They had the space for it? Yes, I do, so we're gonna take it. Yes, I know that door is open. But. I would prefer to go and get the fueling done since we are. very much aware that we need to do it. Yes. The main ingredient of this fuel appears to be a nitro compound. Running could result in a fatal explosion. Alright. No running. Oh god. I'd hate to be in that position. You just sit there and you're like, one wrong move and I'm just blown to smithereens. I'd be shitting myself. The whole time. Just, nope. This is why we have the Magnum, and so many Magnum bullets. So that we can just blow away anybody we need to, and I have a feeling we're going to have to blow up quite a few. We'll have to go through at least a clip, I imagine. Down this way... Oh dear. Be very, very careful. Don't hold me explosives. Hi. You know, for something that should be a red cadaver, or a, um, the crimson head, he's not really running. So I'm pretty sure I remember killing him.
Okay, this is where we need to put the nitro. Okay then, apparently we're not supposed to shoot! <laughs> Oopsie! Let's try that again, I'll be right back. Okay. Phew. <sighs> okay, we're done with that. Which means I'm done with these bugs. Get out. That's what I thought. Now we gotta go turn on that system. That's right. You go boom. <gasps> nope. All right. There's no power to the main elevator. Yes, I will start it up. Here. Go on, get. Don't want to deal with you or any of your friends. No, I don't, especially you. I hate you the most, fucker. Bugger number three, five, five. How many have I killed? Six? Seven? No. You're the red-headed stepchild. That's what you are. Now, what is this? That's the main elevator. Right-hand side. Elevator is working. Sweet. All right. I think that's the way we're going to be able to get out of here when we set the place to blow. Um. It's still telling me something's laying around. Nope. Wait. Time to go through that one last door. No, not that way, Chris. Thank you. It's locked. Well, let's do it. Thank you. No, where am I going? No, oh, I'm going down deeper. I don't think we want to. Is there anything in here? No, there's not. That's what I thought. 
Jill. Chris? Jill. Chris, Wesker's the... I know. I can't open it. Just wait, I'll be back. Okay. There's gotta be something else to open that door. Well, let's explore. Guess we found out where Jill's been this whole time. That's what we get for leaving her alone with Wesker. I imagine if I was playing Jill, the same thing would have happened to Chris. Which would have really just sucked. stuff in there, but I don't quite know what. So, let's go take a look and try the elevator. Maybe it'll take me further down? Because this can't be all that there is for a research facility. Like, for something this complex, just something that brings people back from the dead, Okay, it doesn't bring them back, it reanimates their dead bodies. I would imagine there is a bigger facility. Restricted area. Where we go, we don't need no pass. Biohazard. Ooh, that's an advanced one. You bitch. Wesker. So you've come. Chris, you make me proud. But of course, you are one of my men. Thanks. Way to get your ass kicked, Chris. Since when, Wesker? You had the drop. I'm afraid I don't know what you're talking about. Since when have they been slipping you a paycheck? I think you're a bit confused. I've always been with Umbrella. And stars were umbrellas. No, rather, my little piggies. The tyrant virus leaked, polluting this whole place, and unfortunately, I had to give up my lovely members of stars. You killed Enrico with your own dirty hands! You son of a bitch! Enrico? Yes. I'm a fair man. I'll destroy all of you stars along with this entire place. You. Time for show and tell. Get up. You're really not good at this bad guy thing. Oh. Guess we found the tyrant. Ultimate life form. Oh. Tyrant. <laughs> Wesker, you've become senile. Chris, you'll never understand. It's magnificent. And you're done. Ooh, Wesker. Thank you. But now I have to deal with you, which I really, I don't. 
Please don't Come hurt on, me. You test tube freak. Oh. She needs to compile experimental data. What do I do? Chris, now is not the time. Crap, crap, crap. This is not looking good. And the door is locked. I'm supposed to fight it, aren't I? Yeah, the door is electronically locked. Number of capsules, each containing an unspeakably ugly creature. <laughs> oh! Fudge nuggets, that hurt. Um. Oh! I was supposed to fight him. Okay, we're leaving. We're. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I think Wesker has something on his body. Yep. Getting the hell out of here. Oh, there's still items. I'm going to die. He's holding something. Observation note The discovery of the G virus was, in fact, 21 years after the administration of the. Pr uh, primogenitor virus. The prototype parasite, which we had delivered from a laboratory in France, was administered to the sample specimen. The specimen took in a par the parasite without showing any signs of adverse reaction. The lack of any reaction was an unsolved mystery, but now everything is clear to me now. The prototype parasite was incubating in the sample specimen's body for 21 years. Then, from what incubating state the prototype suddenly mutated, evolved, may be a more appropriate way to describe it. This observation gave me more insight in my research, though through further modification and testing, I was able to derive a method to create the G that surpasses the performance of the T. This was the breakthrough that would change the future of B.O.W.'s history. I can't wait to see the look on Alexia's annoying face when I finally announce my research, but unfortunately I'll have to wait a few more years to completely verify my findings. William Birkin. Oh, ducky. Well, that explains where the other viruses came from. Where's the key supposed to go? Doesn't look like there's any other place I can put it, so maybe I just walk up to the door and... Oh no, it's electronically sealed. What am I thinking? This is definitely one of the creepiest things you've ever seen. <laughs> well, thank thank you for telling me, game. I appreciate it. I wouldn't have been able to figure it out myself. I'm going around clicking buttons, because I don't know... Ah, oh, there we go. There we go! Please just lay there. And so much for the ultimate life form. Alright. Gotta get Jill, and we've gotta get out of here. Oh, shit. No, we're not dealing with you. 
That explains why it looked like the vents were removable. They are, just by like that. Let's get the fuck out. Let's go, Jill. Jill, sorry I made you wait. I knew you'd come. Let's get out of here. Yeah. Come on, let's go. We're running, we're leaving. I am done with this sideshow. Let's get going. Don't we kind of want to, you know, make the place go boom? I mean, yeah, there's proof and stuff. But we kind of don't want to just leave this lying around. And like, you could have cleaning crews and whatnot. But I don't think they're going to be able to do much. By the way, Chill, you know, the courtesy would have been to kill them before you left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Moan all you want. That thing better not show up again. But just in case... And no, we're not gonna end it here, because we're so damn close to the end, I think, that I'm not gonna make you wait for another episode. For what could amount to five minutes. Okay. Climbing up that ladder. Climbing up that ladder. Hi, Jill. We, we, we go, we coo, we coo, we going, we leaving, we're gone. There's no need to go back. You use the lab key. There's no further use. Discard, yes. Oh! Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. That's telling me that I'm going to get attacked again. And this is Brad. Running out of fuel. This is our last chance. If there's anyone alive, give me a sign. I repeat, this is your last chance. Alright, gotta make a run for it. Come on, Jill. Long hallway. That screams attack. What's this? A fuse unit. take care of them. But Chris, you just get in contact with Brad somehow. Okay. Sorry to leave you alone with a pistol.
Okay. What's this? The signal rockets. I probably want to use those. So, come on, get us out of here. Before that thing comes back. Aw, oh, yeah, I demand. I'm GTFO. Well, guys, that was Resident Evil. Um, this was really fun to play through, especially after never having played the first one. Uh, it was a really huge difference for me, um, and it's very noticeable where the series kind of took a bit of a bad turn when Resident Evil 5 came out. I still love Resident Evil 5, don't get me wrong, but... I can see why a lot of people don't like it, because this was a horror game with little to no action. Like, yes, you could defend yourself, but you felt that kind of impending peril of running into any enemies, because you might end up winding up finding some when you don't have any ammunition and there's that whole oh crap I might get caught without um, having saved for a long time and it can be frustrating and that's what makes it so much fun is you're trying to be super smart and careful about how you use your uh, resources so yeah, I'm really excited for when the second one comes out as an HD remaster, and I hope that you guys are looking forward to watching me go through that as well and enjoying the kind of the the game with me. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. If you liked what you saw, please leave a comment in the comment section below suggesting what you want me to play next. In the meantime, in between time for when Resident Evil 2 HD comes out. And as always, please remember to like and subscribe. It really helps me a lot and gets my videos seen by other people. Thanks for watching. Chris, you did a fine job. Oh, I did. Oh, I got achievements for bronze, silver, and gold. Awesome. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Bye. Come on, Chris.